A young girl goes missing in the forest, which may not sound too uncommon. But in this case, it took place in a small park where an event was being held with hundreds of participants. Police dogs all lost the trail in the same exact spot as if she had simply vanished into thin air. This is the case of the missing Takenoko girl. On April 29, 2005, a family goes to a nearby park to participate in a Takenoko picking event. Takenoko are young bamboo shoots, a popular item in Japanese cuisine. The family had begun picking Takenoko at around 1 pm, successfully finding a few of them. At 1 40 pm, while the mother is digging up a Takenoko they had found, Her five year old daughter tells the mother that she is going to find another one and that she would be right back. This would be the last time the mother saw her daughter. At 2 p.m., the daughter has not yet returned and the mother begins to get worried. She begins asking around and a group of people help her out by trying to locate her daughter. There was one witness. A teenage girl who had seen the five year old heading in the direction of a nearby lake. By 3 pm, the girl is nowhere to be seen, so they contact the police, who arrive at around 3 30 pm. A group of volunteers arrive shortly afterward, and roughly 100 to 200 people begin searching for the missing girl. They searched until 9 pm that day. But could not find the five year old. They also utilized a police dog who followed her scent. The dog sat down at a particular spot. Search dogs are trained to sit down when they have lost the trail. The following days, the search party reached upwards of 3,000, but they could not find the little girl. Not even a single item of her belongings. An extremely interesting fact is that they used four other search dogs, and all four of them sat down at the exact same spot the dog from the previous day had. This incident gathered national attention as a baffling case of a girl disappearing in broad daylight, especially because various factors made it hard to imagine how a person could go missing in that situation. The first factor to consider is the geography. This took place in the Kagawa Prefecture, located on the island of Shikoku in Japan. This park is located less than a half hour drive from the prefecture's largest city, and a mere 15 minute drive from the third largest city. It is not a particularly large park, roughly 8 square kilometers or 3 square miles. A relatively small area to cover for a search party of 3,000. This is where the mother had last seen her daughter. This is where the teenage girl had witnessed the daughter. And this is where all five of the police dogs had lost the trail. The distance between these two points are roughly 80 meters or 260 feet. Keep in mind that this family didn't randomly wander into the forest. This was a Takenoko picking event with at least 100 participants in this fairly small park. Another factor to consider is the dogs and how all of them lost the scent in the same exact spot. Now, search dogs can follow trails of not only the scent of the particular individual, but can also detect trails of any human that has recently passed through the area. So, even if someone kidnapped this girl at this particular spot, the dogs should be able to follow the trail of the kidnapper. One of the officers who was interviewed later claimed that for all five dogs to completely lose the ability to track anything, 
the girl would have had to be lifted off from the ground by something like a helicopter. Obviously, this was not the case as no helicopters were present during the disappearance. There are a few theories on what might have happened. The first thing that would come to most people's minds is a kidnapping. As for the dogs being unable to track the kidnapper, it may be because hundreds of people had run around looking for the girl, and there were too many trails for the dogs to determine which one was the kidnapper. But would someone kidnap a girl in broad daylight with hundreds of people in the surrounding forest? Also, how would the kidnapper carry her out of the park? They would have to either silence and conceal her to take her away by car. Because there was only one way out of the park, and their car would be parked in a crowded parking lot. Or they would have to cut through the forest. It may not be too difficult due to the relatively small size of the park. But what do they do once they come out the other end? Did they have a car parked there? That would mean they parked their car on the side of the road, trekked through kilometers of forest, just to take their chances that a random child would be wandering around on their own. In my opinion, this seems unlikely. Another common scenario would be that she simply got lost in the woods. But again, this is hard to believe in this particular situation. As I have mentioned before, this is a fairly small park. Walking an hour in any direction would lead to some kind of road or civilization. Also, there are no steep cliffs or ravines she could have fallen into. The area was also searched by thousands of people, who would have most likely found her body. If she passed away after getting lost. One scenario that was considered right after this incident is the possibility she fell into and drowned in the nearby lake. But this was later disproved. The local authorities actually drained this lake a few months after this incident, and no body. Nor any of her belongings were found. It could be possible that she was abducted by an animal. This is actually the most popular theory on the internet. However, the most common predatory land animals, such as bears and wolves, are not known to live in this area. Supporters of this theory claim that she must have been lifted off the ground by a large eagle, which would explain how the dogs lost their scent. But this girl weighed 15 kilograms, roughly 33 pounds. Although there are certain types of eagles that can lift this kind of weight, that is usually after they have killed their prey. In this case, there was no blood or shredded clothing to be found. And it would be difficult for even a large eagle to lift a squirming human. Not to mention that someone would have heard the girl screaming in the process. If I had to speculate on what happened to her, I would say she got lost, came out of the park at a random location, and then ran into the wrong person, at which point she was kidnapped. As for the dogs, maybe the location they had lost the trail had some contamination, such as a wild animal urinating, making it impossible for the dogs to follow the scent from there. In any case, this remains one of the most mysterious cases of a child going missing in recent years, and we will most likely never find out what happened to the poor girl. Let me know what you think happened to her in the comments. But for now, good night, and I will see you next time.